What's good, YouTube? It's your boyfriend Ben IQ. Come back, y'all, with another video today. Today, I am bringing y'all the second video today, or either my first video tomorrow. I have not made my mind up at the time of me recording this video. But anyway, whenever you see it, you're gonna see the video, and you're gonna learn how to bomb cover too. But um, today we're in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Um, yeah, so we got a bunch of good formations that can bomb cover too. Got trips tied in, bunch tied in, which is PA build over bombs everything if someone doesn't know how to defend it. Got a decent bunch, decent, a pretty good tight slots. I really like this tight slots. But yeah, that's not what we're gonna be focusing on today. Today we're gonna be focusing on Star Close. So you know, you're gonna want your, I'm pretty sure Ronald Jones is a better receiving back than Leonard Fournette, so I'm throwing Leonard Fournette there. And I will throw Ronald Jones right here. And we got Mike Evans here, Chris Godwin here, Rob Gronkowski here. I said Gronk. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. But anyway, draw close. So the play that bombs cover two is this wide trail. And what kind of cover two is they got? Or defense they have in general. But let's come out at 146, which is a really good passing defense. Okay, actually, let me. I gotta respot the ball. Hold on. Because you do want to be on a hash mark. I'm gonna come back a little bit. Just so I'll be able to pass lead it if I need to. Um. So, um. Obviously, the route you're gonna be throwing is this little fade that Mike Evans is on. So, what I like to do is I like to put your tight end on a post route. And then you're gonna put Chris Godwin on a streak. You're putting Chris Godwin on a streak because you're going to motion it over. And um that's gonna take away the deep path. And if they don't have a deep zone drop for a cloud flat or either their flats, um the Y trail will be open. Well the um they will be open. Um so like I said you motion over Chris Chris Godwin. I cannot talk today. Looks like they're in man coverage. And then you pass lead it towards the sideline. And that's a completion every time. And they're a 1 4, and I came out in a 1 4 6 look, which is the best passing defense in the game. So once again, you motion over Chris Godwin. And you just pass lead it towards the sideline. And it's open every time. And then if um you do get enough time in the pocket, sometimes you can um bullet pass it. And if you bullet pass it and they don't animate and they click onto the safety, if your stick work is right, then you can um get a one play touchdown. Alright, so I showed showed y'all like a zone cover two let me show y'all a man-to-man -man coverage cover two all right so we're still gonna be in strong close because this is what i like all right so let's come out in 146 again that's gonna be a cover two man all right so look with cover two man right it is a little more trickier to get open on cover two man Especially when you got slower receivers. That's very lucky. And that, that honestly probably won't get open online. Like if you're playing mud head to head or even, or even if you're playing regs, that might not get open. Look, he has trouble getting off the line. And yeah, I threw an interception. Like cover two man, it's not consistent against cover two man. So against cover two man, honestly the best thing you're gonna need to look for is the um post route from Gronkowski, which is which is bagged. Against cover two man, I haven't labbed a bunch against cover two man. Honestly, the main thing I'll be trying to do to be cover two man or like 
motion slants with a um route tech that's the main thing i look for when i play against cover two man i look for i look for whatever i'm motioning over so like so like this flat post concept see grant got open i really like that against cover two man because you cannot press the tight end you cannot press a running back and you cannot press a motion route whether it's a motion slant crosser post corner you can't um can't press it that's why when you motion over any route it works 10 times better than a standing route let's say um even with this let's say um look at mike evans for example in man in man press if um i had a second controller i would press him but i don't have a second controller but um and i also like to put sometimes i'll throw this together to have some check downs sometimes a little like this against man coverage i really like this motion um corner out and chris godwin just got mad open but um yeah i actually really like that double post play and then also like i said you can throw this together if you're having trouble beating cover two man there's a couple different man beating routes where scott one gets open but yeah but back to a no normal zone so let's go back to a normal zone look and um if my gameplay tip videos are helping y'all any let me know down down below man i like to interact with y'all but sometimes y'all don't be commenting all right let's come in this 335 wheel over to right no matter what cover two formation they come out in right this y trail will bomb it I probably could have bullet passed that but that's the thing no matter what they come out in unless they use her over there they use her over there you're probably gonna want to throw the flat or your tight end but yeah that gets open every time you bomb it and even if they have fast safeties and zone knockouts they won't play it they won't trust me i played them i play mid zone knockout or either one step ahead for hours a day in weekend league and yeah that gets open every time oh i fucked up my stop and go <laughs> y'all about to climb my ass i didn't let go of r2 <laughs> but yeah so and it really helps to have a um to have a slotomatic in strong close or either two route techs either two slotomatics or two route techs but you know it's, a, it's about the same it's not close slot o -matic only works on slants like motion slants because when you're in strong close you're not really putting in routes from your wide receiver because the only time you would do that is if you're running um playmaker and playmaker pretty much sucks in strong close but yeah so i'm gonna go back and I don't think there is something that can bomb um cover two man if they know how to shade with osa which is one step ahead right but um anything motion over let's come back to this double post all right this can even bomb cover not bomb but get good gains against cover two like i say i always like my little check down routes people get mad when you put those out but they won't do anything to stop it it may look like some bullshit but if they don't put nothing out there to stop it then this is a bunny but anyway um yeah i'm gonna run my bomb one more time and i'm gonna get out of here motion over chris godwin
But yeah, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out of here.